for Shaman there. Plan on going down Urban Pearl 2 and doing a potential through trip, but it might be blocked, to Upper Hackergill, which apparently involves lots of water and a few squeezes here and there. But first, we're going to um, go into Urban Pearl 1 and pre rig an emergency escape route. The passage was blocked with flood debris, meaning that our emergency escape route halfway along the trip would not be viable and if we could not get through we'd have to go back all the way we came through the horrible passage to come. We thought we'd give it a go anyway and off we went into the Arbeth Peril run. the main chamber in Ibrith Peril. It's a nice place, it's some place that is well worth a visit if you ever down this way, provided it's not raining. But this was the end of the easy cave. From now on, it gets hard. So hard, nobody's been here since the 90s. <laughs> Long turns, we weren't far from upstream down passage. The main connection passage which connects over Peril 1 and 2 and Upper Hackergill. The passage that has not been explored for 30 years, owing to likely being silted up. digging with my bare hands. Eventually a small tube was revealed and that would be my way on. It would take several more minutes digging before I could actually get in there. Oh, it might do. Yeah, this might go. You just have to dig out. through the bedding plane back to Chris. Unfortunately, he could not follow me because uh, every time he tried digging it, 
the silt just kept falling back in again and he just couldn't make it any bigger and being that Chris has got a slightly bigger chest than me that was enough to actually prevent him getting through the very tight squeeze getting here so I would have to carry on alone I was saying it looks like it's blocked ahead. There's a lot of places in this passageway just was so narrow and it's so hard to figure out where to go next. Passage ahead loop blocked. I guess it's more digging. As otherwise, I'll have to go back through all that. That won't be good. I get up there. really hope to get up a happy or watch. It really is a long, arduous way back out. I've now gotten through the upstream downstream passage and was now in Upper Hackergill Cave. Now it's a good possibility that nobody's been in this part of the cave system for 30 years, yeah. since 1990. Somebody's been here and cleaned the formation. They must have come in from Upper Hackergill, which hopefully means the entrance isn't completely blocked with flood debris and I'll be able to get out of there because the way I came, I really don't want to have to go back for it. I have to dig half my way through it. But this side of the cave, at least, is quite nice. Relatively easy going. Let's hope I can get through this. Got out then for 
some reason, I don't know why, but it did, but I managed to get through the fucking squeeze just about. Well, I think I'm running out of battery or something on the camera. But there we are, we're through. This you're seeing here is the final chamber, well, as far as I could get. There was no way on from here. Um, so, all this hope of uh, finding my way out, because there was that brush there, and this may have been there. Uh, that could have been from the trip 30 years ago. There certainly wasn't any way out, out here. So, well, in the end I had to go back out the way I came, which was thankfully a lot easier, because I'd already done all the digging, and it was just a case of uh, following all the trenches. I'd have to have filmed that trip out, but um, as I mentioned on the actual footage, my camera had run out of battery, so I'm afraid you'll just have to use your imagination of me struggling back out for all those flat out passages. But I did it. It was fun.